Welcome back, Gear Geeks, to the Gear Geek channel here on YouTube. As you saw in the title of this video, we're going to be reviewing and kind of giving you some ideas on uh, the very flexible, excellent Maxpedition Urban wallet. And uh, this wallet has been with me, as you can see, uh, for quite a few years, I think between five and six years now. I carry this thing with me every day. Uh, I did a video recently, if you want to go over to the Gear Geek channel here, uh, on uh, the philosophy between on-body versus off-body EDC. Obviously, this would uh, roll into my on-body EDC most of the time, although it does every now and again live in one of my bags uh, that's part of my off-body carry uh, system, depending on clothes and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, But primarily, this is an on-body carry. And I'm going to show you a couple things with this wallet on its versatility and flexibility that you can actually use this wallet in a variety of different roles. And, uh, of course, the main role is just kind of carrying your cash and credit cards and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, any sort of business cards or anything like that. Uh, but also this wallet contains a cool feature that allows it to be a little bit more versatile than that. And you can even use this in other roles. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the Maxpedition Urban Wallet. The obvious first feature is the uh, Velcro strap. Uh, as you can see over the years, my uh, kind of hook, or excuse me, loop uh, field on, uh, on my Velcro's uh, kind of worn thin. Uh, it's definitely still uh, able to keep the wallet in its closed position. Uh, as we progress, you'll see that this wallet expands pretty wide, but uh, I like to keep it in its trimmer uh, configuration. Now, this is just a bifold, not a trifold wallet. So one of the disadvantages is that it doesn't have a dedicated spot from the top of the wallet uh, to put your bills lengthwise unfolded. So you do have to fold your money uh, to fit it in this wallet. To me, that's not really a big problem. All I do is uh, usually I'll slip uh, uh, kind of my reserves uh, behind the ID and then I'll put the remaining amounts uh, in this uh, kind of what I call the main compartment there. Uh, now, before I uh, continue on, let me just point out that uh, if you'd like to know all the dimensions and all that sort of stuff, uh, this video is not that kind of video. Head on over just to the Maxpedition website. That's the best place to find out uh, details. In fact, maybe I'll put a link down below in the description. So uh, I just wanted to give you some thoughts on how I use this or how this could be used that maybe isn't as obvious from that website. So uh, obviously another feature would be uh, an ID uh, spot here. The material is fantastic. Uh, I have never had it crack or get injured in any sort of way. It stays pretty clear. Um, like I said, this is about five years uh, or six years, and uh, it's still in phenomenal shape. Uh, we also have the main compartment, which is expandable. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, you can put all sorts of stuff in that. And then you also have kind of a front pocket here that might be best suited for you know business cards, credit cards, stuff like that. Uh, of course, on the outside, you have uh, another little credit card slot or business cards, whatever you like to keep. The way I usually use this wallet for uh, everyday carry items, uh, I have my business card and some uh, regular, or excuse me, my personal card, uh, as far as debit card goes. Uh, I have that on the outside of the, uh, of the um, wallet here. Uh, and then inside, I sometimes will keep just some kind of regular, you know, th things I use regularly, uh, Costco cards, stuff like that. Uh, on the inside... Uh, what I'll usually keep here is, uh, you know, just some notes and stuff like that. Usually I don't use this pocket all that often. Um, usually when I get like business cards from someone, that's where I'll put them. And then I try and go through this and, and clear things out somewhat regularly. So I'm not toting around a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is really the configuration I keep it in. Everything that's in here right now is what I keep in here regularly with one exception. I'll show you in a second. Uh, on the side, you'll notice I did sew on a little bit of paracord. Um, I attached a couple of, um, uh, you know, safety pins right here. And, um, you know, you just never know when you're going to need safety pins. So uh, oftentimes that's just for like wardrobe type issues. I've, uh, I've had it happen before where zippers break or something like that. It's just nice to have something to uh, secure that with. I also have a sewing kit where I have some of those uh, as well. But uh, that's usually in my off-body carry. So uh, this at least lives on me at all times. Uh, I also keep a uh, Fisher Space Pen. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and pull out all the items uh, uh, out of the main compartment here. Just do a little dump. And um, what we have here is uh, the Slim Clip. Uh, basically, this guy is uh, just a neat little um, you know, credit card, uh, business card holder. Uh, if I wanted to, I could, uh, of course, uh, take this guy out, put my ID and maybe some cash if I wanted on here. 
and be able to just stick this in my pocket, uh, you know, business suit pocket or something like that, or, or um, you know, whatever. And, uh, and then that way I could leave my wallet in my off-body carry and just have this as my on-body. Uh, of course, the Fisher Space Pen is uh, a nice little addition to a wallet. Fits in there perfectly, and it expands, or I should say opens, uh, you know, to uh, a full-size pen. And uh, that way you're able to, uh, you know, kind of have something that writes really nicely. Uh, it's got a great type of ink. It's pressurized, so you can write on walls or anything like that. Um, you know, like in, <laughs> not writing on walls, but you can put your paper on, uh, you know, so every now and again, like at the bank when I'm signing my check or something like that before depositing it into the ATM, you know, I'll pull out the space pen so I can, you know, kind of sign my name on the on the uh, uh, vertical surface there. So, uh, and then I also, this is uh, the item that I don't usually keep in here, uh, but just happens to uh, be in here right now. Uh, this is just a, a box cutter, and uh, it's just a razor blade and a little sheath. And, um, you know, I don't know that I'll keep this in here necessarily. It is kind of neat to have a blade, uh, you know, on you at all times, obviously be for uh, utility purposes. Uh, on my person, I pretty much always have two knives on me at all times. If you go back to my uh, philosophy video on EDC, uh, you'll see that I always keep two knives uh, on me at all times. One for kind of utility purposes, one more for def defensive stuff. Um, but anyway... It is there for now. Um, now, something else I discovered about this is, uh, you know, actually, as I was preparing for this video, uh, something that I wanted to find out was just how many business cards uh, you could fit in here, because I know some people really like to uh, keep their uh, their wallets stuffed uh, all the way to the max. Uh, so let me show you just how uh, much you can fit in this thing. Believe it or not, that is 85 business cards stuffed into the main compartment here. I was actually pretty surprised. You could probably fit a few more, but once I got to 85, I was just, I was quite impressed. Uh, it does actually fold. Uh, you do have to kind of help it out uh, just because it's, my wallet's not been uh, kind of stretched uh, that far, but uh, it does work just fine. Uh, secures, you even have a little bit more wiggle room. You know, if I wanted to put my space pen, maybe even my box cutter in there, uh, it would work. And then let me show you another thing that I think you might like. This is pretty much stuffed to full capacity, and you'll see why when I open this up. Uh, it's not wanting to stay closed, but look what's in here. We got a large Altoids tin and two small ones. You could fit pretty much an entire survival kit in here um, if you wanted this to be an on-body carry survival kit. Uh, you got uh, you know two small Altoids tins. You can have like a fishing kit. Uh, a medical kit, and then uh, you can have kind of stuff like water purification, uh, you know, and some survival things, uh, mirrors and all that sort of stuff. You see plenty of, you know, Altoids tin uh, survival kits. So I was just, I, I, I've never tried that before. This literally was just me curious what will fit in there for this video. And so I definitely appreciate being able to, uh, to do these videos for you guys because I learned something in trying to think through what it is that you guys might want to know uh, about the items I'm reviewing. So uh, for all of you who are subscribers to the Gear Geek channel, I definitely appreciate you. There's been some just real positive feedback. You guys have been an amazing audience, and uh, I just so appreciate uh, you know you guys uh, being um, you know really what I would consider to be the reason why I'm doing this. You know why would someone take uh, hours of their life and and um, and whatnot to uh, you know to share some ideas? And that's because I want to be part of the conversation. And uh, more importantly, I want to attract you guys to part of the to being part of the conversation. Uh, I want you guys to uh, contribute. You know, throw your comments in there. And my ultimate goal is for this to be a channel. Uh, that is really uh, for you guys and a place for all of us gear geeks to come together and uh, share some ideas. Uh, last feature I'll show you is um, I did uh, put that paracord on there, not just to be able to put some uh, of the safety clips or safety pins, uh, but I also like, uh, you know, the, uh, if you've gone to my channel, actually my, my number one most popular video I've ever produced, uh, to date anyway, um, is uh, is on the uh, the Fortius Arms Keybinder of all things. I, I'm kind of blown away by that because I got stuff like from Glock 29s to Maxpedition Janus and um, you know uh, 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 a military uh, uh, sleep system uh, video. I've got all sorts of stuff up there and, and more to come. Many more things to come. Uh, and yet the number one uh, most interested item is uh, this guy here, the Fortius Arms Keybinder. Uh, and so go check that out. But uh, I do like to uh, have a way for my keys uh, and my wallet to, uh, to be together. 
And so well, it's kind of running away from me here. <laughs> of course, as you start recording, right? Uh, anyway, you get the idea. So I like to clip those guys together sometimes. Just kind of depends on what's going on. Uh, but what I'll oftentimes do is I'll clip this to my pants. I'll clip this to my wallet. And then that way they'll all be together. If I'm in a part of town that, uh, you know, maybe a little bit less desirable to be strolling around, um, you know, maybe uh, one of the bigger cities or something like that. Uh, it's nice to have a little bit of security. And uh, if you go to my Fortius Arms uh, Keybinder uh, video, you'll see how I attach this to my to my pants and how this fits in the pocket and whatnot. All I would do is basically just attach the loop to the keybinder and then put this in my pocket alongside uh, my keys. So uh, you'll see in that video kind of how that works. But uh, it makes for a really, really good system, very secure easy to access. Uh, you know, I've got it sewn on there pretty darn good. It's 550 cords sewn with embroidery thread. Um, you know, it, it's, I'm going to feel it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So, um, and then we'll get, get uh, to one of my other uh, items that's part of my EDC video. I'll let you figure out which one that is if you go there. So anyway, uh, this is just such a blast to do for you guys. I appreciate it so much. Uh, please click that subscribe button. Uh, put some, uh, you know, some thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't care for this video. I don't care. Um, actually, the, uh, the, the interaction you guys uh, give me uh, through all these videos helps me to know what you like, what you want more of. And, um, and so coming at you with more Maxpedition stuff by popular demand, my uh, Maxpedition Janus uh, off-body EDC video uh, is actually the fastest growing video in popularity as far as number of views for how long it's been out. And so because of that, I uh, decided to do another piece of Maxpedition gear and see if you guys like this just as much. If so, then I'll be doing my Maxpedition Kodiak, uh, Jumbo EDC VersaPack, and uh, some of the other Maxpedition items. I actually have the toiletry bag uh, as well. That's one of my favorites. I have some other ideas on how that can be used, first aid rolls, survival rolls, stuff like that. Um, so anyway, a lot of good stuff coming up here. I appreciate you guys a ton. And uh, keep coming back for more Gear Geek stuff. Head on over to the channel. Let me know what you think. Appreciate it. See you guys.